Now the next step is to consider the gradient descent algorithm. Because gradient descent algorithm works on the cost function and since we have changed our cost function now it contains some more variables the gradient descent algorithm will also change. We will study about the change in gradient descent algorithm now. So in gradient descent you can see that we have these uh, these parameters what we try to do in gradient descent is try to minimize the cost function this is the basic idea behind the gradient descent algorithm we know that right so what will be the algorithm we know that the algorithm repeat until convergence it will repeat until convergence now we have some changes in the gradient uh, descent algorithm because our cost function has also changed and uh, the algorithm says that if we have theta 0 we will update or I should say we will simultaneously update the values of theta 0 as theta 0 minus alpha times 1 upon m then sigma goes from i equals to 1 till m and we have h theta of xi minus yi raised to the power x square or i should write x 0 i so theta 0 is remains unchanged we are going to update theta 0 but you can see that the cost function is not considering these two values and the reason is because we are not penalizing we are not penalizing or we are not assigning any penalty to theta 0 this is an important point that in gradient descent our theta 0 updation of the theta 0 variable will remain unchanged because we are not penalizing theta 0 with our regularized parameter with our regularization parameter we are not uh, making any changes to theta 0 right we are only making changes to theta 3 and theta 4 so in that case we write theta j we are going to update theta j because you can see in this equation we have j equals to 1 till n so we will update the theta these only we will update only these parameters in such a way that we will uh, be able to regularize this term so it will go like this theta j minus alpha times now here we are going to change it to 1 upon m sigma i equals to 1 till m and we again have h theta x of i minus y of i and again x j i will remain here this term is again the same but now we will have to add the regularized parameter we will divide it by m and then we will write theta j right so this is the only change this is the only change that will come in our gradient descent algorithm and the reason is this because we are penalizing the theta j values so we will uh, change the values of theta j and remember it is now lambda by m so this term which is this one it performs regularization it performs regularization and there are some important uh, things that we will we have discussed here which is mainly considering the lambda which is the regularization parameter so we have seen how gradient descent algorithm will perform regularization by introducing this term in the theta j all right so there is one more important thing we can actually simplify this term we can actually simplify this updation which is theta j so let's see how we can uh, change it i'm going to write it here 
So on simplification, we can actually write it something like this. The term will become theta j 1 minus alpha into lambda by m. So you can see here we are actually multiplying lambda with this term, our regularization term, and we are considering this term. Both have theta j, so we are considering them and we have taken the theta j as common and we have written 1 minus alpha times this as you can see here and then we will write our remaining term which is 1 upon m sigma goes from i equals to 1 till m and similarly x theta of i minus y of i square no not y i square it should be x j ith example all right so now on simplification you can see we have not done anything major here we have just taken theta j common and in these two terms and we have just written 1 minus alpha times lambda by m now why we have done this is because now we have we can see this term here now this term this whole term you can see this whole equation and the equation here you can see these are the same but we have only one difference which is the introduction of this parameter this whole 1 minus alpha lambda times m so there is an important point about this the reason why we did simplification is because this term 1 minus alpha lambda times m has a very important point which is that if the this value is less than 1 if we have if 1 minus lambda times uh, alpha times lambda by m which is this term if this is less than 1 then it can be seen as the reducing value of theta j because that's only reducing theta j so it will be less than 1 so it can be 0 0.001 or something like that so it will be able to reduce the values of theta j and since it will reduce the value of theta j which are in our cost function it is actually going to prevent the problem of overfitting and it will keep on reducing the value of theta j after every updation we know that we are going to update the values of theta j and at every step it is going to decrease the value of theta j on every update and the second term you can see here this term this is exactly the same 